January 10, Self-Defense Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Exodus chapter 20, verse 12, King James Version Baby boomers sometimes must raise children while taking care of their aging parents. My mother lived with my family for 12 years. She moved to Edmonton when my twins started kindergarten. Mom remained with us during the school year and traveled during school holidays. She was a tremendous help to me. I did not have to juggle working and running a busy household with four children and other relatives. It was a blessing for my children to know their grandmother. Grandma tended to sick kids, gave them money, fed them, and helped them grow spiritually. As the children got older, she lovingly threatened them when they did not comply with her expectations. My children often talk about how strong their grandma was for an old lady. Once, my daughter Cassandra responded to my mom in a way that she did not appreciate. Mom sat and waited until Cassie was within reach and then let her know a thing or two. Mom experienced discomfort due to congestive heart failure and fluid retention. It broke my heart to see her struggling to breathe, knowing that there was nothing I could do to ease her pain. Jokingly, I said, Mom, how about I strangle you and put an end to all your struggles? Mom told me that, given the way she was feeling, she would almost welcome the idea. Then I asked her what I could say to the police when they arrived. She grinned at me and said, Just tell them you did it in self-defense. She was 80 years old at that time. We had a good belly laugh. What a sense of humor even in her last days. If you are caring for an elderly parent or relative, enjoy them and seize opportunities to share special moments before it is too late. You may feel overwhelmed and frustrated at times, but don't lose heart. You are doing an honorable thing. I cherish the fun memories and experiences that my mother and I enjoyed for 45 years. I was born on her 35th birthday, and we shared many birthdays together. Eight years ago, Mom died at the age of 80. I long for the day when Christ will return and Mom and I will meet again. What a great reunion that will be. I plan to be there by God's grace. How about you? Sharon Long